Hey guys, welcome to day two of our seven day core naps challenge. We're once again working out straight from Miami, Florida. The weather is amazing. The music is blasting from right from downstairs, but we are exercising first and then running into the rest of our day. Once again, you'll need your medium resistance loop band, a mat and a good mood. Let's go straight into it. Okay guys, today we're starting with our dead bug variations. I want you to bring your knees over your hip bones. I want you to move your pelvis back and forth just for a moment before you're able to find that neutral position where your low back is just slightly touching the ground. We're not jamming it into the ground, so we're not rounding and going into the back tilt. You have your knees over your hip bones, and if you look down at your abdominal area, and you can use your hands to brush it out, you want to have a flat surface for that hot cup of delicious morning coffee. Okay? So on your next exhale, when you're ready, I want you to find your left leg and extend it out. So if you are a beginner, I want you to start with your leg being bent. You're just bringing your big toe down to the ground, light top and back in. If you're more of an advanced practitioner and you do your core work and you're connected to your pelvic floor, then work on extending that leg fully out. Let's go guys, we have 10, exhale. Inhale in, exhale two. And in, on three, when you extend that leg, is your belly button lifting up and there's this little triangle shape appearing or are you focusing on flattening that area out? Let's go four. And in, let's go five. Remember, you can keep your leg bent the entire time. Less is very often more. It's not always a sign that you're not doing good enough. Six, I believe. Seven, you can extend your arms out. Eight, two more. Nine. Last one, 10, let's switch right away. Take your inhale, exhale, right leg out. Big reach, inhale, bring it back, and two. Your low back should not be lifting off the ground as your leg extends, so it should not be pulling at your pelvis. Check for that, four. I always say to my students, five. Core work that's incorrect is a complete waste of time six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. We're going to keep going. We're going to add our upper crunch with the arms extending out. So if it's your left leg going out, it's your right leg going overhead. Take an inhale. Exhale, lift up into your upper crunch. Bring your arms overhead. Hold your crunch. Don't bring your shoulder blades down. If my left leg goes out, my right arm is going to try to go all the way down to the ground. Inhale, center. Exhale, two, switch. Keep going. Three. Exhale, four. And you have five. And six. Seven. Don't terrorize your shoulders. Eight. Think of squeezing your front delt as you reach back. Nine. Ten. Just ten more. You got it. One. And two. Keep going. Three. And four. Five. Almost there, guys. And six. Seven, eight, two more, nine, last one, good job, we made it, grab your band, I'm going to put that band around our ankles today, I'm going to bring your legs apart, if you're a dancer like me, think pole invert, if you're not a dancer, this is also great for you. Press out into the band, so think of abducting your legs. Kneecaps are pulled up unless you're feeling any sort of discomfort behind your legs going up into the knee. In that case, bend that knee, allow the legs to be soft. Arms extend out, no hopping, so not like that. We're trying to deepen our hip flexion, and with that, make our bum light and try to bring it up in the air. 
You have your 20 on the exhale. 20. 19. 18. 17. 16. 15. I'm loving this music. It helps you to keep going. 13. 12. Little lift. 11. Don't hop. 10. Keep going, guys. 9. And 8. And 7. And 6. Almost there. 5. And 4. And 3. We got it. And 2. Breathing is everything. And one, good. Keep the band around your legs. We're going to exhale, drive the legs down, lift up into the upper crunch, and as cherry on top, reach the arms up overhead. Your legs stay outside of your hip bones. You're still abducting. Come back and lift yourself into a very controlled candle. If you're not able to go super high up, that's okay. Go as much as you can. Exhale, two. Inhale back. Exhale up, inhale lowering, exhale lifting, inhale down, exhale up, inhale lower, and up, we're going up to 10, and down, and up, five. You're still trying to hold that cup of hot coffee in your abdominal area. Six. Especially when the legs go out. Seven. And up. And eight. Keep going, nine. Last one. Ooh. I we did it. Band comes off. We're not done yet, but almost. Put it out of the way. Bring your knees together right over your hip bones, arms out like your Air Canada or whatever airline you like, airplane. And on the exhale, we go both knees over to one side. Opposite shoulder stays down. Inhale, center, same direction, go for two. And up, going up to 10, three. Only go as far as you can keep your left shoulder down, four. Keep going, five. And remember the rule, less is very often more because you're able to really focus on quality or just trying to abuse yourself with too much. Four more, one. And two. Just two more, three. Unless I'm messing up the count, could be, but if so, it's just one rep. Last one. Take your inhale. Let's go to the other direction on the exhale and center, and two. Keep going, three. And four. Keep prioritizing your breathing, five. Ooh, the song, and six. If, in case you guys are wondering, there's just like a pool party happening downstairs, seven. But I'm up here with you, Exercising, eight, nine, last one. Whew, good, we're finishing with our upper and lower crunch. We have 20, you can keep going after that if you want to, but priority is our breath. Ready, take an inhale, exhale, go up, 20, 19, 18, catch the beat, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 
eight, seven, six, five, almost there, four, three, two, last one, and knees to chest. Good job, guys. Day two is complete. Come up. I'll see you tomorrow for day three of our abs and core challenge. Thank you guys for moving with me.